Now, a few weeks ago, backbench Conservative MP Nadine Doris chastised the Prime Minister and the Chancellor of the Exchequer as two posh boys who don't know the price of milk. Well, today, the Chancellor, George Osborne, did a bit of remedial work by visiting a farm to hear firsthand about the difficulties many farmers are having as they claim the big supermarkets and major milk processors are cutting prices to unsustainable levels. David Grossman has been finding out what the milk row is about. <laughs> Dairy farmers like Peter and Yolita Parks cannot simply take a day off. The cows must be milked. If not, they get sick and that means vets' bills or worse. Yet the sad economic truth is every litre that comes from these cows loses the couple money. Why do they carry on? Well, having invested so much in the herd and equipment, they're just desperate for something to turn up. If I could go back... I wouldn't have come into dairy, but when my, uh, when my father-in-law was here, they had a good life. They were still struggling, but they weren't dealing with what they're dealing with now. Everyone out there wants a cut. Everyone makes money out the dairy farmers except the dairy farmers, and we just can't take it anymore. What's wrong with this industry depends entirely on who you speak to. For the farmers, it's a simple matter. The supermarkets and the processors have all the cards. They dictate the terms. They tell the farmers what price they're going to pay, and they won't pay a penny more. For others, though, this is an industry suffering from chronic oversupply. There are too many farmers. They're too efficient. They're producing too much milk. The facts of that market are, it's argued, that some of them are simply going to have to move on and do something else. Farmers have taken to direct action with blockades all over the country. Many see Robert Wiseman Dairies as one of the big villains in this story. The company was taken over by the European dairy giant Muller in January and has since cut the price it pays for milk by 2p a litre and another 1.7p cut is due next month. Well, the reason farmers are finding things so difficult at the moment is the uh, two price cuts that have happened through the spring and summer, which were 2p each, adding up to about 4 pence, have come at the same time as their costs of production have gone up. So fuel and fertiliser costs have gone up and they've also had a, a period of very bad weather which has meant in many dairy farming areas the uh, farmers have had to bring their cows back into, inside into the sheds and are feeding them full winter rations so their costs of production have gone up. So those two factors together mean that uh, from a place where the average dairy farmer was probably at about break even this April, they're now losing between five and six pence a litre uh, of milk that they produce. The price that farmers get for milk per litre is pretty much back at what it was in the mid-90s. The industry has responded by getting much more efficient. Here's what the average dairy cow was producing back in 2000, about 6,000 litres per year. Now that figure is 7,200 litres, but in this plenty is plenty of misery for the farmers. You, you, you can't really take a holiday no. easily. You're here every day, every seven day. days a week, every, yep. and yet you're not making money on no. it. No, we haven't made any money in the last 14 years. Do no. you see any prospect of a change? No. No. No, 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 no whatsoever. If the government doesn't deal with it this time, and the government says their hands are tied, the government needs to sit in and give us an adjudicator. Someone who's going to say help this is fair, this isn't fair. That's these, right. are, and, and these are reasonable terms. These are not reasonable that's terms. That's right. And and to say to the processors that you cannot do this to farmers, you know, mm. make it fair. They cannot just drop the price when they feel like it and name and shame all the retailers that are doing it. So the pressure is on everyone for the supermarkets to show they're paying a fair price. Today, the co-op have announced that they'll increase what they pay. Earlier in the week, ASDA was telling MPs that they too are going to increase what they pay. Now, I'm delighted with your press release from ASDA that milk's going up two or three pence to the farmer, but how did we get here in the first place? 2010, you slashed your prices in ASDA from 153 for four pints of milk to a pound. All very well for ASDA to run milk as a loss leader, but who the hell's going to pay for it? The farmer, the processor. We've have a duty and an obligation to both ends of the chain. We have a duty and an obligation to the farmer, and we're satisfying that. We also have a duty and an obligation to the customer, particularly at a time when they're finding it really difficult to make ends meet. But the ends aren't meeting back on the parks holding in Surrey. There may be some gold mine dairy farms in Britain, but this clearly isn't one of them.
I mean, I have to say, if I mean, if you've got a load of Mercedes and Rolls Royces around here, you're hiding them pretty well. We don't have any, I'm afraid. That's it. Our beat up truck, which I'm just waiting until it packs up. Yeah, it it's on its last leg. No, it? the doesn't bull had a go at it. I'm afraid. If that were a cow, you'd be calling the vet, <laughs> wouldn't you? That's right, yeah. <laughs> David Grossman there.